Let's do problem 4-20. We have a pipe assembly here with four moments acting on it. And we want to add up all these and get the resultant moment and find the uh, direction angles. So we'll start by writing out the moments in Cartesian coordinates. So moment one is all in the Y. So uh, that's going to give us 1 be 180 in the J direction. Moment 2 is all in the uh, I direction, but it's pointing in, so it's negative. So negative 90 in the I direction. Moment 3 is pointing off into space here. It's got an X, it's got a Y, it's got a Z. So when you start out with the position vector, and so it goes positive 2 in the I, negative 2 in the J, positive Z in the K. And uh, the position vector then, or the magnitude, is going to be 3. 4 squared, or 4 plus 4 plus 1 is 9. Square root of 9 is 3. So the moment 3 is the magnitude 120 times 2 thirds i minus 2 thirds j plus k, or 1 third k. And then multiplying out, we get 80 in the i minus uh, 80 in the j plus 40 in the k. Moment four. Now, if we look at the fourth moment here, it's got 150 degrees pointing in, but the angle between the xy plane and the uh, vector, the moment, is 45 degrees. So we know the mz here is just going to be 150 times 0.707. And then the moment xy will also be 50 times 0.707. And then the angle in the xy plane is also 45. So this x and y will be 50, 150 times 0.707, again times 0.707, so 0.707 squared. So m4 in the i and that's going to be positive i, is 150 times 0.707 squared, or 75. And the j, it's going to be negative, it's going in, is going to be negative 75 in the j. And then down is going to be 150 times 0.707, which is 106 in the k. Now the resultant then is the summation of those three. So in the I, I we have negative 90, positive 80, positive 70, which is 5, which is 65 in the I. 180 minus 80 is 100, minus 75 is 25 in the J. And then we have 40 and 106, which adds to negative 66 in the K. And there we have the resultant vector. The magnitude of the resultant is the square of all those, 65 squared plus 25 squared plus 66 squared square root, and that equals 96. And we are in pound feet. And so the coordinate angles, alpha equals the inverse cosine, of 65 over 96, which equals 74, nope, 47.4 degrees. Beta equals the inverse cosine of 25 
over 96, which is equal to 74.9 degrees. And gamma is equal to the inverse cosine of negative, ooh, that's, yeah, negative 66 over 96, which equals 133.4 degrees.